Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you uh, phase two, which has been a, uh, I guess, what would you, how would you put this? The subdivision Sunbury Cove Estates was originally created by myself and a business partner in 2006. It was put on what uh, was determined to be a 273 acre waterfront parcel we purchased in 0506 and we developed 26 lots which was the result of a legacy subdivision little tiny tiny lots we killed all those redesigned the whole subdivision put nice big huge lots in that are uh, some are over two acres most of them are an acre to an acre half acre three quarters 14 years later we've got everything well we had everything pretty well sold within a year of the original subdivision and then a handful of lots we sold off over the years and 14 years later now we have phase two opening so this is your opportunity to get one of only i think phase two is 20 lots and some are already sold we've got both waterfront water view on the bay on the strait so there's two roads this is stacy which runs along the strait the warmest waters north of the carolinas it's behind it this there is a, um, a river the Barner Wire River or something like that and uh, there's going to be trails going in there's already a few trails I don't know do we turn around or just drive over this we'll just drive over this it's PEI um, so this is the extension of Stacy Lane and this will all be landscaped and sodded or grass seed put down these lots have some really nice mature trees, so you could custom landscape them around those trees or just level the lot in its entirety. I wouldn't do that, and nobody else has, but you're welcome to do that. But you've got some really spectacular views. You're only 12, 15 minutes away from Summerside. Easy access to the bridge right next to Union Corner. You can walk for miles in either direction. Uh, if you're building towards the tip then you'll have 360 degree views just past a lot we've partially cleared there's a number there's two deeded accesses to the water one's to my right here there's another one on the other side and there's another one, unofficial one at the tip we've got uh, fiber optic is it's either here or it's on its way, but I know it was at the telephone pole at the end of the road. And then we've got a tower here at the top of this utility building. And in this utility building houses all the equipment to maintain the entire subdivision. So we'll cut your grass, we'll do your landscaping, we'll paint your house, you will build your house. Uh, we'll decorate the house, put appliances in, like completely turnkey. And then if you want to, you can even rent it out. And these rentals, some of them on the South Shore are getting over $4,000 a week or $4,000 a week. We have underground electrical on this side, and then the treat area will have above ground electrical. We've got three. These two houses on the right were just built, they're brand new. This was the developer, my business partner's original house on my left. And then we're coming up to one, two, three they're working on right now. Uh, this is down a private two-mile road so there's only one road in and one road out it's completely private very very low traffic great, great place for kids dogs animals uh, this is another house on the right that's in the production of being built here and someone built that little garage there, so that was part of the parcel. These two lots are the two biggest lots in the subdivision, and that is a naturally fed spring to the right. And on the other side, we got this guy here being built. If you can see that. Boom. This lot here on the right was just sold. There's another lot on the other end of phase two that was sold on the water. It's just closed. That's in the process of closing. Uh, that house there is built by somebody in BC that has since sold it and transacted and someone's painting it. That house there I built. This one right here was a spec home. So that was the second or third house in the whole subdivision. So I built that as a spec home. 
and then sold it off to somebody and he has since sold it off. And then brand new house. Again, this is the developer's second house he lived in. And somebody, a real estate agent, needed a house to sell, so we sold his house and told him to move. House on the right, again built by somebody from BC. And then it's transacted twice. This is 708 Strang Road. Strang Road is the road that feeds the subdivision. It's not Sunbury Road or whatever, Sunbury Cove Road that goes somewhere else. So this house here was probably the third or fourth built. Hopefully nobody gets dizzy. That big garage on the side of that house was for a helicopter. Because the owner had uh, a number of helicopters. Now it's probably just a very, very big garage space. The most important room in the house for most men. So this would be McKenna. There's another spec home we built at some point and a garage was added. And then there's another spec on the left that belongs to some people in the U.S. Beautiful home. And this would be the extension of McKenna. This would have been the original cul-de-sac. So this would have terminated here. And we've since then extended it. And we've got uh, this cleared, ready to build on. We've got another one across the road. If you can see it right there, you can see the water in the distance. Do not try this at home. Uh, these lots are all staked, surveyed, perk tested, ready to be built on. As you can see there's some nice trees, softwood, hardwood. That's another cleared lot. I can't drive in there, there's too many trees. And this would be the termination of McKenna Lane. And then the intention is to put some uh, to put some walking trails around. Well, let's just go a little further. So this would be really nice when it's done. There's walking trails up there to the left. Up here. We're not going to go in there. It's a little wet. We've had rain for two weeks. Finally, it's starting to dry up. That would be a text message. And that's basically it. If you have any questions about this subdivision or any others, let me know. We're building in PEI. I do appreciate everybody watching the video, subscribing to the channel, pressing the little bell. And if you have any questions about PEI real estate, PEI in general, or just real estate in general, put them in the comments below. And when I have a dull moment, I'll make sure I get back to you. Take care. Bye for now.